Unfortunately, Bengal has been suffering uh, from lack of uh, top uh, tournaments coming into this uh, city. And so this is really one way for a lot of our members to get to see good golf, interact with top players and also play a round of uh, golf with them. So I think it's a overall uh, a good experience for everybody. And uh, the weather is nice and I guess it's just a, a complete package for everybody. So it's nice. See, I think one thing that I've seen is that there are more uh, Indian uh, professionals that are playing the bigger tournaments. They are playing more on the Asian and European tour and they're competing. That was the first step. Now you're having winners. Earlier you used to have a handful of guys uh, only taking part. Now you have a handful of guys winning. So I think there is a transition where the entire golf strata is moving upwards. And I think this is just the start. Now you're going to have more and more winners hopefully in the next two, three years. It's an old golf course. Uh, it's not as modern as some of the newer ones, but it's got its own challenges. It's, uh, she's uh, stood the test of time. And uh, yeah, we've made it. Uh, the only obstacle that we have for these guys is the rough because the golf course is not that long. So it's going to be uh, good golf and I've always believed that birdies wins tournaments instead of you know somebody struggling for pars. So let's see, I think uh, somebody who's putting well and uh, hitting the ball well will be a winner this year. Oh, wonderful, you know these guys who come and play all, uh, around the year and come back and play with us. The best part is that they come, continue to look at your game, they'll tell you which are the bad shots, which one to play, they have their own ways to really do it. Great to play with these guys and you know with the pro who has just won the previous tournament playing with him was really fun, good fun. Basically on the chipping and putting and I, I tell you he was very good. He was very, I, I would say absolutely professional to tell us how to do it and then it was really good experience. Oh, it's a tough course, it's a tough course this weather and McLeod Russell your roughs being very tough. Once you are there in the rough you are down short. Handicapper like us, which is 18, 20, you know, it becomes that much difficult. But you know, it's fun. Lovely weather. One thing which Nuclear Russell 2 Championship also brought in is such a lot of uh, enthusiasm about golf per se. I mean, RCGC now playing IP, RPGL with 513 players. I don't know whether any other golf course has got those kind of tournaments. In the last five years, golf in Calcutta has grown, grown lift and bound. And thanks to, I think, uh, Metro Russell 2 Championship. The kind of youngsters which are there on the course today, the way they are practicing day in, day out, involved in the golf, I think Calcutta will produce more and more professionals than what they produce ever. There are many good youngsters who are there in the course. Not only that, even the age group like us, we are there on the course to play every weekend irrespective of the weather, hot, humid, raining, etc. I think a lot of fun, a lot of golf. Yeah. Uh, well, this has been one of the better programs that I have played. And uh, this is the first time that I am playing in RCGC. And it's been a phenomenal experience as far as I am concerned because it's a long, long course and it gives a great experience. Uh, you need all aspects of the game perfect uh, to make a decent score. I played with uh, Shankar Das today and uh, he has been very very friendly, very very helpful and gave me a couple of tips which really helped me improve on a couple of things which I was doing wrong and uh, this is the first time I played a tournament where uh, I was hitting the fairway out maybe 16 out of 18 times which is unusual and it helped me a lot. Uh, in reducing my score and for the team and uh, more so I think I'll carry forward whatever I learned with him going forward. Uh, a couple of things that you really need at RCGC. One is you need a very very decent and long drive to even come close to uh, making a par. Uh, and second is I think the greens are also a, a little challenging so if you miss the line you, you go a little off. So I think these are the two things that really differentiate RCGC. The good thing about RCGC compared to the course I play in Mumbai, which is Chembur, uh, is that uh, it's a broad fairway. So it gives you some level of forgiveness if you slice a little bit or you know pull a little bit. So that's the only saving grace. Otherwise, it's a tough course, but an enjoyable course.
Yeah, it was a great experience uh, playing at the program here at RCGC. Somehow I haven't uh, gotten around to play at RCGC. It's a lovely, mature uh, course, and uh, you know the other courses that I've sort of learned golf on um, out of the country were all similar. So sort of great fairways, great greens that hold and roll well, and uh, really mature. So wonderful experience at uh, RCGC, and especially the pro that we played with uh, Aman Raj. Aman played a fantastic uh, seven under um, and um, you know he's so steady I hope uh, you know players like him really make it uh, big uh, on their own and uh, you know golf gets the name that it should for India yeah yeah so I was having a pretty bad round on the sort of front line um, and then uh, sort of uh, Avon kind of mentioned about sort of going easy on my backswing so which I did. I think the back nine was much better. But yeah, I'm playing this course for the first time. But I'm looking forward to being back here and playing much more uh, out here. Lovely course. This brand ethos is all about health and nutrition. So we're associated with several uh, sports and uh, supporting sporting events like uh, tennis, like uh, football, um, and of course more recently golf. And in golf, uh, we we have been uh, sort of uh, we started sponsoring the Eastern Zone uh, Junior uh, Circuit, uh, which we believe uh, should hopefully help uh, golf become more mainstream amongst juniors and uh, have more juniors come up in the pipeline to you know become pros and uh, be great golfers going forward. Very good. I like the I like the pro am days. A um, little bit long winded, so it's been a long day out there. Maybe nearly six hours, I think. But you know, when when you're playing with the pro, getting tips off the pro, and, and playing with Sanjeev Mira as well, always makes it makes it entertaining. Um, it's good fun. Very good. Four. Um, to be able to come here to Calcutta and and manage or coach uh, the the ATK team, it's fantastic. But to be able to come away and and have the privilege to play on this course when you know, maybe once, twice a week that we, we ask to play and they always say yes. Um, and Tolly Gunge as well, just around the corner. You know, two fantastic golf courses, which are, which are fantastic experiences every time we come. It's a, this is a fantastic course. Uh, it's not easy, I can tell you. I wish I'd played when I was younger. Um, I think you need to play most sports when you're young to get the real feel of how it should be done the natural way. Uh, I seem like I'm always trying to figure out how to hold it or how to swing it where the young people with this, this day and age, they just grip it and rip it. Wish I could do it. Fantastic. Um, when I phone home and tell people that I'm really enjoying the experience in Calcutta, they can't believe it. They're like, serious? You know, you're, you're really serious? And it's like, yep, every day. You know, I'm enjoying the coaching with the Indian boys and the foreign boys that we brought in as well. Um, and just. Even in the car every day you see something different in Calcutta that, that you're just amazed by. Uh, it's a fascinating city that myself and my staff are really enjoying and it's a fantastic experience so far. Got there on a Monday. The only bad part was that it was raining the whole week but uh, you know that made the win even better because you know they were probably the toughest conditions that, that we had a rain delay every day and it was a 240 man field so uh, you know it was tough but I think I played really well all, all five days it went to a Monday finish and uh, couldn't have asked for a better result. Actually surprisingly very calm uh, on the course especially when I got to the range on Monday morning I had I think 11 holes left and uh, I was very very calm and uh, even in the last part, you know, I didn't really celebrate, I just made the putt and I took off my cap and thanked everyone. So, uh, yeah, it took some time to sink in, but, uh, you know, I was very happy with the way I conducted myself, very, very calm. I was very calm, didn't make a bogey in the last three days. And, you know, just, just a perfect tournament. It's going to change my schedule a lot. Uh, uh, obviously, we'll be playing more in Europe next year, but we'll try and play some events in Asia as well. And uh, maybe a few, maybe a few in India, but... Uh, you know, it just happened two weeks ago, so I still haven't made my schedule, but it's going to be really packed next year. It's my, it's going to be my first major and I couldn't have asked for a better start. British Open is my favourite tournament, my favourite major out of all the majors and, uh, you know, 
it has so much history to it the claret jug and pretty much grown up seeing the open championship on tv so it's going to be a dream come true and it's at kanushri which is obviously a historic venue so uh, you know i'm really looking forward to it we'll have to prepare a lot and uh, hopefully i'll do well there i will try and finish as strong as possible obviously always play to win so uh, Uh, I've been playing well, and uh, I took yesterday off, so I rested the whole day. So I'm feeling fit as well, and uh, you know I just want to carry the momentum, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm playing really well. Just need to put four rounds together, and I think if I play my best, it'll be good enough to win. Um, feeling pretty good. I've had a good uh, a good run in the in the last couple of months. Uh, yeah, the form's good. I'm confident with my game, so looking forward to this week. Also, it's absolutely. I think I w- it was probably the most consistent season that I've had uh, in India and abroad. And uh, you know, as a golfer, you strive for that. You want to be in contention almost every week. And uh, I'm quite happy that I was able to do that. Um, so yes, quite satisfied with my season this year. Um, you have to play well all round. Um, it's a tough course. It's a challenging course, but it's a very fair course. So if you hit good shots, you do have opportunities for birdies. But um, you have to be on top of your game right from. Uh, The first day and the first shot onwards, and uh, it tests you in all aspects. Absolutely, I think everyone looks forward to this event. Uh, you know, from the beginning of the year, um, it's it's a goal to get here by the end of the year, and uh, it's the strongest field that India ever gets. Um, everyone loves to play here. The course is fantastic. The sponsors do a great job with uh, the hospitality and everything, and uh, the crowds are great. Uh, it's always nice to come back to Calcutta. It's a it's a golf crazy city, and um, yeah, it's. Uh, It's the best event that we have uh, on our tour.